NEP, 2020, points no. 11. 1 to 11.12 in higher education discusses about towards a more holistic and multidisciplinary education. Today, Ray F. Rangin will discuss holistic and multidisciplinary education, higher education and details from NEP, 2020. A holistic and multidisciplinary education would aim to develop all capacities of human beings intellectual, aesthetic, social, physical, emotional, and moral in an integrated manner. Key words of this section holistic and multidisciplinary learning Scientific, vocational, soft skills, professional, knowledge of many arts, multidisciplinary education, STEM India has a long tradition of holistic and multidisciplinary learning, from universities such as Tekshashila and Alandla, to the extensive literatures of India combining subjects across fields. Ancient Indian literary works such as Banabadis K. Dambari describe a good education as knowledge of the 64 colossal arts. And among these 64 arts were not only subjects, such as singing and painting, but also scientific fields, such as chemistry and mathematics, vocational fields such as carpentry and clothes making, professional fields, such as medicine and engineering, as well as soft skills such as communication, discussion, and debate. The very idea that all branches of creative human endeavor, including mathematics, science, vocational subjects, professional subjects, and soft skills should be considered arts, has distinctly Indian origins. This notion of a knowledge of many arts, or what in modern times is often called the liberal arts. That is, a liberal notion of the arts must be brought back to Indian education, as it is exactly the kind of education that will be required for the 21st century. Holistic and Multidisciplinary Educational Approach STEM Assessments of educational approaches in undergraduate education that integrate the humanities and arts with science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM have consistently showed positive learning outcomes, including increased creativity and innovation, critical thinking and higher-order thinking capacities, problem-solving abilities, teamwork, communication skills more in-depth learning and mastery of curricula across fields, increases in social and moral awareness, etc., besides general engagement and enjoyment of learning. Research is also improved and enhanced through a holistic and multidisciplinary education approach. NEP, 2020 points no. 11.3 and 11.4 talk about holistic and multidisciplinary educational approach. It helps in developing well-rounded individuals that possess critical 21st century capacities. A holistic and multidisciplinary education would aim to develop all capacities of human beings. Intellectual, aesthetic, social, physical, emotional, and moral in an integrated manner. Such an education will help develop well-rounded individuals that possess critical 21st century capacities in fields across the arts, humanities, languages, sciences, social sciences, and professional, technical, and vocational fields, an ethic of social engagement, soft skills, such as communication, discussion and debate, and rigorous specialization in a chosen field or fields. Such a holistic education shall be, in the long term, the approach of all undergraduate programs, including those in professional, technical, and vocational disciplines. A holistic and multidisciplinary education, as described so beautifully in India's past, is indeed what is needed for the education of India to lead the country into the 21st century and the fourth industrial revolution. Even engineering institutions, such as IITS, will move towards more holistic and multidisciplinary education with more arts and humanities. Students of arts and humanities will aim to learn more science, and all will make an effort to incorporate more vocational subjects and soft skills. NEP, 2020 points no. 11.5 talks about imaginative and flexible curricular structures. Imaginative and flexible curricular structures will enable creative combinations of disciplines for study, and would offer multiple entry and exit points. Thus, removing currently prevalent rigid boundaries and creating new possibilities for lifelong learning. Graduate level, master's and doctoral education in large multidisciplinary universities, while providing rigorous research-based specialization, would also provide opportunities for multidisciplinary work, including in academia, government, and industry. NEP, 2020 points no. 
11.6 talks about holistic and multidisciplinary education in universities and colleges. Large multidisciplinary universities and colleges will facilitate the move towards high-quality holistic and multidisciplinary education. Flexibility in curriculum and novel and engaging course options will be on offer to students, in addition to rigorous specialization in a subject or subjects. This will be encouraged by increased faculty and institutional autonomy in setting curricula. Pedagogy will have an increased emphasis on communication, discussion, debate, research, and opportunities for cross-disciplinary and interdisciplinary thinking. NAP, 2020 points no. 11.7, multidisciplinary subjects at higher education institutions in all bachelor's degree programs. Departments in languages, literature, music, philosophy, indology, art, dance, theater, education, mathematics, statistics, pure and applied sciences, sociology, economics, sports, translation and interpretation, and other such subjects needed for multidisciplinary, stimulating Indian education and environment will be established and strengthened at all highs. Credits will be given in all bachelor's degree programs for these subjects. If they are done from such departments or through modal mode when they are not offered in class at the hey. Thank you so much. Today I have discussed NEP 2020 points no. 11. 1 to 11.7 holistic and multidisciplinary education, higher education and details from NEP 2020. In my second video I will discuss NEP 2020 points no. 11. 8 to 11. 12. Reference National Education Policy, 2020. Presented by Raya Frangin, the principal, teacher trainer and CBSC resource person. You can visit MHRD official websites for more update or you can visit my websites www.rayavelt.com, www.rayavrangin.net for more videos, PowerPoint presentations and articles.